everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Marsha and today's video is about how to style the Yeezy 500 so without further ado you know what you're here for let's get started say hello hello everybody <laughs> Okay, so little spiel before we start actually is that my friend actually bought these first and then I saw them and I looked at these shoes and I was like, oh, these are alien shoes. They're so weird, but I love that they're so weird. And so I ended up getting them too. This is a bit of a different color. And so then I started to worry about how I'm going to style them because they're quite bulky and weird looking. Let me tell you, that is not the case. I love these shoes. They're absolutely wearable with any kind of outfit, and I will show you how I do it. So this first outfit is a wonderful outfit that I wear to the gym, actually. Uh, so as you can see, I have these beautiful Yeezy 500s, and then I wear some bulky white socks with it. Um, and I kind of like it because it reminds me of a... 80s feel so yeah that's why i do this and then i wear my aligned leggings which are just butter smooth as butter so nice um they might have different colors right now on but they always have the aligned leggings because they were such a hit when they released them so i wear a size two in these just for reference and then also these yeezys i got them in a size six but that's a six male so that's a reference for you guys as well. Um, then I wear my fanny pack that I love, that I live in completely. It's from Lululemon as well. Uh, and yeah, this fanny pack goes with me probably 90% of events that I go to. 90% of things that I do, I always carry this fanny pack. So this is sports mode when it's on waist and then when it's on here, it's just casual mode, okay? Then I usually style this outfit with a hat just because um, I'm going to the gym in this. And then I have this light shirt that I can just easily take off if I get too hot. And then a nice uh, Nike sports bra that I wear. And I love the cross in the back as well because it makes it look really nice and sporty. So yeah, this is the first way I would style it. Don't be afraid to do it. You can also just wear normal socks if this is too much for you. But yeah, let's get on to the next look. Yes, this look is perfect. Honestly, this is probably the number one way that I would style these shoes just because it's more suited for other people Not so crazy out there and it's just really nice and wearable. So this is the back of it uh, And then the front um, So what I did here is just pair um, Any cargo pants so you can pair anything that suits you anything that you have in your closet. I went with my camel pants that I live in. I love them so much. By the way, I got them for $12 at the thrift store. And these are actually from Urban Outfitters. So they fit me pretty well. I love that they're a bit loose on the uh, waist because it kind of makes your waist look smaller, but they're a bit bigger. So yeah, it's nice. Then what you do is just wear any tank top underneath that matches the whole look. And then you just put on a nice cropped jean jacket. I could even wear a white jean jacket with this, which I have but I kind of like this look better. So yeah, this, I've worn this many times to the mall, anywhere else, but I absolutely love the way to style it. So remember, cargo pants, anything that's a bit cropped so you can really let the shoe be seen. And then um, crop top and then a nice uh, jean jacket. I absolutely, when I found this outfit, I was like, yes, I'm feeling cool. I'm loving it and what I usually do is wear my fanny pack like this. And I don't know, I just really get Bella Hadid vibes in this, honestly. You could also probably style it with her nice t-shirt, but I'm not sure so she brought into fashion scene and you would definitely look like Bella Hadid. So yeah, take a look at it, take a look. This is the third look on uh, how to style these shoes. Um, when I wore this, I remember I got a nice compliment and it was like, wow, this outfit is just top. Like, this outfit is really nice, Marsha. And honestly, I put this on randomly one day, I didn't even think about what I was doing. And I agree, it actually is beautiful. 
let me walk you through the outfit. So this sweater is actually from Rosia. It's a Babaton sweater. It's super soft. I wear this a lot. It's the nicest casual sweater that I have. It ties at the front here so you can make it tighter, looser. You can make it even more cropped if you want to with that sports bra. Um, tricks that people use like this. Um, I don't know if I would want to do that, to be honest. So then I wore um, these nice Hollister pants. I've had these for years, but they've been worn many, many times and they look like this on the butt. They're really nice and beautiful and I just think it really complements the shoes. Kind of this whole outfit is a monochromatic outfit and I really think that that's another good way to style your shoes is match your whole outfit to your shoes. And by matching, I mean literally just use the same color palette. Okay, and then the fifth outfit is this one. Uh, I wanted to include something that's more wintry, folly feeling vibes because I don't know, I just really like this outfit. So I have this Aritzia, um, whatever, I don't know what these are called. They're kind of looser uh, fit sweatpants. They feel like I'm in class, like I can't even explain to you. You need them in your life. So the more sweatpants you have, the better your life is, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, they kind of hide most of the shoes, but I think it really goes because you have most of the weight of the outfit at the bottom. And then when you put on this huge coat, which I thrifted by the way, and if you look at the material, it's just, just beautiful fuzzy material and it's soft and it's so warm. Um, I kind of paired it with this and then I just have a simple crop top from Urban Outfitters. They have a whole bunch of colors there with that one. So yeah, you can always take this off, Oops, look a bit casual like this. And then when you put on your a nice jacket or coat or whatever you can pile on scarves and I just think the white really pops nicely with this brown color jacket I just feel really warm and cozy in this outfit and you can never go wrong with sweatpants and Yeezys that's like the, what they're known for I think so yeah this is another way to style them okay so this is the final outfit um, what I did here was just style it with an amazing dress and um, I like this just dress because it really matches the color palette of the shoes. Style it with some nice little small baggy and then a nice jacket over top to kind of pull up the look together. I really like this outfit. I usually wear um, these Yeezys in the summertime with a dress if I'm feeling a bit flirty and fun. And it's another good way to style them because you can't, you don't only just need to style Yeezys with pants or some sweatpants you know you can always style it with some amazing dresses that's all i can say so then i have a nice jacket here that you can also style it with which is the black blazer here this black blazer is absolutely amazing makes it look more bit look more a bit professional it's like your school instagram girl i guess uh they really have been liking these kind of outfits so yeah this is pretty cool you can do this too there's so many options out there just mix it up you guys i like how this is all neutral colors you can really just pull it together this dress is pretty short and it kind of matches the, the length of the blazer so i don't know i'm just really excited because this is probably the best purchase that i've ever done that i've ever had that was this of a higher price <sighs> Thank you so much for coming by and watching this video today. I'm really happy that I got to share how I style my Yeezy 500s. I know they're a harder shoe to style, but you guys can do it. I believe in you, you have the resources, me. And I hope you guys uh, got some input and good help from me today. If you made it this far in the video, just hit the subscribe button. I know you want to. And um, come again soon, I guess. Oh, 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 oh,